Eric Adams, stand aside, you have forsaken us. Catholic Charities, you have forsaken us. Schumer, you have forsaken us. Our political establishment has forsaken us. But the women have not. They've been there first and foremost. So to finish out our activities tonight, and as Scott Lovato said, it will be one of many. You know how we roll. We roll strong. We roll hard. We are incessant. We are constant. That's the only way to get things done in life. Your parents did that. Your grandparents did that. And on the graves of your parents and grandparents, many of whom grew up here, raised you here, are buried here or across the bridge, on, on their name and their headstone, we need to honor their sacrifices. We will improve. We will not move. We will not cut. We will not run. This is our community, our city, our state. This is our country. Vivian Keenan. Oh, my mistake. Hold on. Viviana Hernandez. There were such great messages today, and I'm going to use some of them to capitalize. Can you hear me? Oh, my goodness. Yes, we're cojones. No, not with that. Okay, we are here because our elected officials in Washington, D.C., here in New York City and throughout the nation have decided to adopt lawlessness. We are here to put a nail in the coffin of lawlessness. And let me tell you, when they see us in numbers, they start to shake. So we have to, as Scott said, as um, Curtis said, we have to show up and bring more people, yes. okay? The lawlessness of the Biden administration, a lot of people don't know, and you can tell other people, there are no other nations that allow a porous border. That's right. Every other country makes people go to jail or they get them out. Okay, the other thing is there's the lawlessness of Mayor Adams. He has given us a self-inflicted wound. Yes. What did Mayor Adams tell us? He was going to restore New York to its greatness. What has happened since this debacle? What has happened? We have debilitated, he has debilitated our city. that are conservative and are Republicans, yes. true conservatives and Republicans, and get them in office. Every time you tell your neighbor, every time you say, oh, I'm not going to vote, it's not going to make a difference. By not voting, you vote for the opposition. We have to appear at the voting polls in mass. Okay. Now, the lawlessness is extended to our tax dollars, and I invite the lawyers to come, and we could do a class action suit because the judge in uh, Supreme Court Justice Wayne Ozzie said that right to shelter is only for New Yorkers. But guess what? Guess what? Did, did the me lamestream media say right to shelter is only for New Yorkers? No, they kept that secret. So we have to come together and do as Pete Curtis said. And uh, Scott, we have to get our lawyers involved. Yes. Okay, the next thing is that we have the right to liberty and justice. There is no justice when you lie to us and you bring in people that shouldn't even be here. They are lying to us by calling it asylum seekers. You have to change the language. 
And again, asylum seekers are here because of persecution in their nation. So we have to say no more people coming here and pretending to be asylum seekers. That is Mayor Adams' big thing. But they are not. I am here also with you, standing with you, and saying to my children, to my grandchildren, to your children and your grandchildren, when they say they were destroying New York City, what did you do? Exactly. We got together and we made a stand. Yes. Our forefathers in America made a stand. That's how we got rid of the British. Yes. Right now, there is lawfare against everyone that's standing up for the American uh, American Constitution. Lawfare means we're going to turn our lawyers on you if you don't agree with our socialist, communist, Marxist agenda. Do we agree with that agenda, everyone? No! Okay. Now, the other thing is that the mayor took an oath. The Biden administration officials took an oath, right? They are being lawless because they are violating their oaths. And we have to get their took us out of office. We have to say, you no longer represent us. And if you don't represent us, we're gonna get you out and get someone who will. That's very important to tell them, I am not voting for you because you have not represented me. They have failed us. They have failed us. Excellent. Okay. The other thing too, lawlessness. Our children have to be totally vaccinated to go to school. Now they say, well, you do that, but the people who have come do not have to have vaccinations. We have health concerns because of that. And the other thing too is we have loitering in the streets. We have um, even uh, more crime and everywhere. These pop up. And I think I like that sign. Can you put it up again? No migrant shelters in Bay Ridge or the other uh, boroughs. We are inviting the other boroughs to also have their own, their own voices heard. Yo soy Latina. I'm a, a, a Puerto Rican. Y la gente tiene que, que hablar. The people must speak up. Yes. Yes. Los, los políticos no quieren que tú hables nada. The political uh, uh, hacks. They do not want you to speak a word. Too bad. And look, think about this. The lamestream media left. Of course. They don't want to they don't want to see an uprising in effect like we are doing this. And God is helping us. Amen. We are not we are not promoting violence against anyone. But we must protect our rights. Yes. And having the American dream destroyed like uh, Mayor Adams, the city council, defunding the police, all of this stuff, uh, uh, the cashless bail system, that is robbing us of an American dream. I say we need to also tell them you have to protect the um, middle class business people. I think it was Mr. Casimatidis had an incident at his um, his grocery store. There was a, a someone that came in to rob, and when his employee came uh, to, against them, they both went through a window. That shouldn't ever happen in our city. This is not some third world country. Exactly. They want exactly. it to be. They want it to okay. be. Okay. So I feel, I'm going to close up. I believe that if we do not stand for our principles, that we will lose our city and our nation. So this is a great start. And uh, we, we salute Staten 
Staten Island for yes. initiating yeah. and bringing the fire here. Yeah. Our American dream has to be preserved. Yes. Yeah. God bless America. Yes. Yeah. Let's have a great round of applause for Viviana Hernandez. And in closing, this man here, Bernard Chow, has been with me at every demonstration, every step of the way. From, there were four men in a room in East Queens four months ago. Four men. I believe one man, one woman can make a difference. There were four of us. It was Phil Ornstein of the Queens Village Republican Club, who I think is the age of George Washington. He was there. Joe Concanon. It was Bernard Chow running for city council there against Linda Lee, who's invisible, and me. And at every demonstration, in fact, two weeks ago, it was Democrats versus Democrats, moderate Democrats in Riverdale versus Socialists. It was pouring rain. As soon as I came off the train with my wife Nancy, we walked up the hill. They were booing me. Go home, Sliwa. Go home, Sliwa. And they were prepared. They had their megaphones, microphones, the socialists, they know how to organize. Luckily, Bernard Chow showed up in the rain with his megaphone. I want to give him an opportunity to speak to close it out. Because remember, the number one group behind these rallies all throughout the city has been the growing power of the Asian American community. Hello. My name is Bernard Chow. I'm running for City Council, District 23. My opponent is Linda Lee. Here I want to say one thing. I am very, I feel like Ari, where's Ari? Ari is a very lucky person. Why? Because tomorrow he's going to debate Justin Brennan. Yeah. and speak out exactly what is in their mind and let everyone hear about it. And do you know that, including me, a lot of the candidates are not having a debate. My opponent, a lot of the civic leaders in my district have go to Linda Lee's personally into the office and asking, you should have debate or not. You should have a debate. We should hear what you're going to say about the migrant tent. That's right. We should hear what you're going to say about the illegal immigrant situation. That's right. flooding into our city, flooding into our criminal, 1,000 single adult men. That's right. That is destroying my neighborhood. That's destroying my district. That's destroying her district also, but she is avoiding that. So here, I need to borrow every one of your cameras. I need everyone's help. Here, Linda Lee, I want you to have a debate with me. Yeah. yeah. I want all the civic leaders to know that I am standing up. I'm willing to face all the evidence, all the truth. Let me speak up how we feel about the community. I am standing for United States of America. I am standing for New York City. I am standing for you.
politicsnyevents.com So go online to politics events politicsnyevents.com politicsnyevents.com and then last because we're all together in Brooklyn the mayor is going to put a tent in Manhattan Beach do you know where the baseball field is before you went to Kingsborough Community College. I used to play there when my cousin, Lenny Beans Bianchino, went from playing with the Canarsie Chiefs, I don't know if I could call them the Chiefs anymore, to playing center field for the Kingsborough Community team. They've already looked at this fence. I'm going to talk to Ina Vernikoff, the great city councilwoman there, the Southern Brooklyn GOP. I know they have a meeting tomorrow. I intend on going there and explaining how they have to organize to stop putting a tent in Manhattan Beach. They want to blanket all of Southern Brooklyn. And remember the plan. It's to 